Hi there, this is John Alexa from ProSite Tutorials, where I talk about professional websites in five steps. And in this next few videos, I'm going to talk about keyword research. And when it comes to this, I do it in two parts. The first part is where I build a list between 100 or more keywords. And the second part is where I analyze them and see if they actually are worth my time in trying to build content around them or not. And this depends a lot on the competition that those keywords have. In this next few videos, I'm going to talk about 10 tools that you can use so you can find a lot of keywords that are great for your website. So let's start. The first technique that you may want to try is called brainstorming. And this consists on you thinking if someone wanted to find your website using Google search box, how would they actually be able to find your website or what exactly would they write over here to find your website or page that you have over there. For this you can use a blank notepad and simply ask yourself how would someone find my website on Google and then you just start writing keyword after keyword until you have about 30 or more keywords. Actually the more keywords you have the better and this is really a quick way for you to get plenty of keywords for your website. So I'm just going to give you an example. Let's imagine that I have a dating website for men. And I would ask myself, how would someone find my website on the internet? So I would start writing And then I would start writing keyword after keyword until I had a good list of keywords. And this is really a fantastic way for you to get a lot of keywords nearly instantly. Another way for you to find plenty of keywords for your website and many times keywords that have very low competition or none at all is simply browsing the forums within your niche. For instance, now I am in WordForm, which is really a famous internet marketing forum. And I'm just going to show to you how you can do this. So I'm just going to enter in a discussion. And I simply browse the posts that are, people are leaving over here. And I can see, for example, what are the best content marketing agencies. So if I had a website related to internet marketing, this may actually be a good topic that I want to write a uh, letter on. Let's see another one. Let's see another one. What exactly is the internet business? That may also be another topic that I might want to try and write about. And the great thing about this is once you enter in one of the posts, one of the topics, Many times people leave really very useful comments and once you read throughout this you have a really great idea of what exactly you would want to write on your article. So this is another really great way for you to find plenty of keywords for your website. Another way for you to find uh, plenty of good ideas for keywords is simply going to the blogs within your niche and see what other people are writing about. For example, at the moment I am in Smart Passive Income, which is really a fantastic blog related to how to do money online. And if I had a, a blog related to this topic, then I would go to the blog section from this website and simply see the titles of the topics that, uh, in this case, Pathfin is writing about. For example, over here, top 10 places on your website to include an opt-in form. So this would probably be a good topic that I may want to later on write about. Certainly I would not exactly copy this title and paste it on my website, but I would probably do a variation of this, uh, this keyword and write something similar on my website. Another thing that you can do is simply going to the post and just checking the comment section, seeing if someone actually left a question. 
And using that question, it might actually give you a keyword or something that you may want to use on that article. In this case, actually, we don't have anything, but that's just an idea that, that you can use to get some good uh, keywords for your articles. Another platform that you can use to find even more keywords for your website is YouTube. And once you go to YouTube, you can see that you have this search box over here. And let's say that, once again, for my dating website, I want more keywords. I would write, for example, how to attract women. And you can see that immediately I get a list of several suggestions. And this are stuff that people are actually searching on YouTube. But that doesn't mean it's not good keywords that you want or may want to use for a website. For example, how to attract women, I get how to attract women with eye contact, how to attract women in black ops, I guess that's a game, not sure how they attract women over there, but okay. How to attract women mentality, so I get a good list of keywords that I may want to use later on for my website. Another way for you to find plenty of keywords is simply using Google. So you go to Google and you write the keyword that you want to find uh, more ideas about. Let's say in the dating niche for men, dating tips for men. Once I enter this and I go below, you can see several suggestions that Google gives to me. And these are stuff that people are actually searching for. For example, dating tips for shy guys. That may be actually a good, uh, <laughs> that may actually be a good topic for a website related to this. Or dating tips for men after a date. Dating tips for men over 40. As you can see, a lot of suggestions come up once I do this.